All right, what's up, everybody? We are back on the YouTube channel, um, and I'm getting ready to tie in our podcast. Give me a quick second. Let's dump them in, and let's get them crunked up. They are not here yet. I see um, one or two people online here, but before we dive in and welcome them in, can I welcome you guys to Google? So today is all about a Google training. <laughs> All right, this is going to be pretty quick. It's going to be kind of fast for some of you. Um, so don't hesitate to pause, take notes, pause, take notes, pause, take notes. All right, let's bring in our podcast, guys. One second. what's up everybody on the podcast all right look guys uh it is your guy the mad scientist i'm live here streaming on the webinar we got some people on the webinar i'm kind of excited about that we got some people going on the podcast as well so that's super pumped up i would like to welcome you all in together now the people who are watching this on a live webcast um already know that we are welcoming you guys to google so what is today's training about uh hello welcome to google <laughs> all right so this training is going to be kind of cool it's going to be really straightforward guys but um for those of you who are listening on the podcast this is going to be a little bit different okay um this podcast is going to be focused strictly on setting up your business the most effective and cheapest way possible and that's running it on google a lot of people don't realize how much google gives you so I'm going to take a moment and show you what Google can do for you. All right. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and start this screen share and uh, see here. I'm going to break things down as general as possible and as basic as possible. So um, if for whatever reason, guys, on the podcast, you lose me, I want you to make sure to go over to our YouTube page. We still have a lot of people who are coming over, so go over to our YouTube page, okay? And when you're over on the YouTube page, you can watch all of these podcasts from here forward right there live in the studio. I mean, like a T-shirt, a little white beater or whatever before I go to the gym. So look, that's just how you get it. I'm going to give it to you guys raw and uncut, just 100% me. Um, so now what we're going to do is go to google.com. All right. Um, for some of you who are watching this page live, you see that it's already pulled up. You'll also notice that I have a picture of me in the top right corner. Now, this is my personal um, Google page, but when I click here uh, on that person or that uh, picture, I can come down and I can select to a different um, email address. Now, you can have multiple email addresses that you're logged into on the top right corner. So um, let's say you have a personal Gmail. Uh, for example, me at Gmail, and then you have a business, business at Gmail. Okay, that's not a big deal. That's not a big problem. But what a lot of people do is they don't realize that I can stay logged into my personal, switch over to my Google business, and do everything there, and then switch back over to my personal. So we're going to cover that first. First thing you're going to do is you're going to log in. You all know how to log in. Click on the top right, sign into your account. Now, when you do that, you can click in. You can see all these different accounts, all right? Uh, these are some of the different clients that we uh, manage or whatnot. But you're going to get in there. You're going to create a Google account. Now, when you create this Google account, um, you're going to go ahead and do whatever steps it asks you. Now, I'm going to actually walk you guys through creating a uh, Google account. So let's say you're already logged in one, but you need to add another one. So you're going to go ahead, click in, um, add new account. You're going to say use another account if you already have multiple accounts on there. If you don't have one, then obviously it's going to ask you to sign in. You're going to say create new. Now I'm going to pause here and let's say that you have two accounts. Right here is where you can actually put in the information of your second account and log in. Or your third account, log in. Your fourth account, log in. 
your fifth, so on, okay? you. It, I don't think there's a limit. I've never actually hit a limit. Um, we've had numerous com customers' accounts that have been logged in um, where I'm working on them uh, from my business computer here at the office or somewhere else on my laptop. And as long as I can authenticate it with the password and the two-step authentication process, then we're good. Um, now, if you are creating a new business email account with Google, you're gonna create new account. <clears throat> when you create new account, obviously you're gonna to wanna to put your first name, last name. Make sure that this information is up to date, all right, and, and is real. Don't just kinda of like throw in a whole bunch of fake crap. It's gonna mess you up. So put in your real name, your real last name, you know, Jason Williams, your username, whatever your business is at Gmail, all right? Now, use a standard password until you get used or unless you know that you can remember multiple passwords, use a standard password for your business. Um, that way you don't get yourself locked out. And make sure to set up your secondary account, something other than your personal account. So that way if you ever get hacked, you don't lose access to both accounts, all right? Um, have them separate. So like if I have my business partner, I'm her recovery email, she's my recovery email. So in order for us to completely lose access of all of our accounts, both of us would have to be hacked. And the likelihood of both of us being hacked at the same time is a lot less than one, all right? So do that. You're gonna create a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo, whatever, right? And then, you're gonna go ahead and go next. Just follow the process. It's really simple, it's really straightforward, um, and you really can't go wrong um, unless you start putting fake information down. Uh, Google's job is to collect data, so just like any third party company, Google, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Live Chat, WeChat, WooChat, WeChat, this chat, all that other stuff, right? Um, <laughs> all of that, its job is to collect data, and then they sell it to third party companies, i.e. myself or other companies who are wanting to sell ads. And they say, hey, well, we've got 550,000 business people that match your business profile statistics of what you're looking for or trying to sell to. It's gonna cost you this much to run an ad, but we'll give you access to all these people. We won't give you their information, we're just gonna give you access to connect to all those people. Well, that's what their job is, and they can't do that if you don't put the right information in. And you can't accurately do that if you don't put your right information in. So, do us a favor. Put the right information in. You don't have to put like, you know, social security numbers and birth dates and all that. For birth dates, I usually um, make it the month of the year that my business started and then like some fictitious year. Um, that way, as long as it's 18 years or older, then you're good. If you do something that's under the age of 18, you're going to find yourself getting hit with restrictions and limited to what you can do. So make sure that you at least set it to where it's 18 years or older. All right. Um, so let's go ahead Say that you've got all this set up, all right? What I'm gonna go ahead and do is switch back to my business account, all right? Um, and I'm gonna explain to you guys, obviously we all know what Gmail is. We all know what images are. So if you want to search images, you can just click images, type in what you want. Um, you know what a Google search is down here. I think that's self-explanatory. And I'm feeling lucky is kind of like, you know, I'm just, wanting this to search any and everything that's relevant to whatever I'm typing in. So let's say dog, you could go ahead and say like, I want to be, uh, you know, searching for dog. And you can say, I'm feeling lucky because that's a pretty wide open, you know, genre of question words or, or subject word to search for. And now look at what happens. When we go ahead and pull dog, all right, just for example, Wow, I don't know what happened right here, right? Random, I'm feeling lucky. Something that is the highest tag, uh, highest rated business for Google, for dog, pops up. Vets Street, um, your pet, your vet, all right? And obviously, Google's job is to do that and find it around like your um, email uh, associated to your uh, IP address, with your location and all that. It's trying to connect all of this as close to you as you can um, for the best ad service provided. So that's kind of cool um, if you guys have never used that. Now you know what that is. So let's back up. And let's really talk about getting into Google because that's what you're here for. All right. So 
Um, now that we've covered all the basic options, your alert option is the bell icon on the uh, top right, right beside your Google um, account. Now you can set a picture to your Google account and do whatever you want to do with it. Um, that's not gonna make a difference. I like doing that, so that way when I'm looking in the top right corner really quick, I can decide and decipher who I'm looking at, what I'm looking at, um, versus just having like a JW in there. I might have 12 customers that are JWs, um, and I don't know whose account I'm working with. I upload a photo of their logo, and without having to think about it, I can look at it, see that logo, and know who they are. But what I really wanna to talk to you guys about are these little things right here, okay? Is that not cool? Hold on, I'm gonna annotate this here. Hold on, I'm gonna note this. Let's go ahead and woo -hoo -hoo. Look at that, I got fancy, got some red lines on there. That little thing right there is absolutely amazing. All right, guys, if you, okay, are not using that feature, you are slipping. So I'm gonna clear all drawings. All right, I'm gonna come back over here. Now, what you can go ahead and do, which is really neat, is you can come over, when you click on this here, you can come down and select on a whole slew of other things, all right? Look at all the options you guys have. When you open this up, you can go to account. When you go to your Google account, this is where you select it to do business. You can put in all your business information right here, your photos, your descriptions, your da 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 all right, you've got your Google search, you got your Google Maps. This is really cool because if you wanna know how you're viewed on Google Maps, you click here, put your information in, you can check it out. Now, not only that, but because you're using Google as a business page, you also are gonna have a Google YouTube page, which is cool because this is how I separate my personal videos and my business videos, and then my other business videos, right? Because I have multiple businesses. So this is how you would do it. Each business is gonna have its own Gmail account, which I'm gonna explain why you want to have separate Gmail accounts in a moment. But then you have your Google Play Store, you have your Google News, all right? All this is free, by the way. You also have something very special and unique called Google Drive. Oh, that was like my uh, voice, okay? Anyway, Google Drive is really cool. Did you know Google gives you 15 gigs of space for free for every single email? So now, instead of having to buy, uh, I don't got a card by me, but little memory cards or something, right? An SD card to plug into your computer or some hard drive or fancy cloud server or whatever to hook yourself up to, you could go straight to Google, all right? And have it all backed up and synced in Google. More importantly, you can have your photos backed up for Google. So let's say you're out doing something for your business, you're snapping photos and all that, and then you're like, man, I got like 100 photos and like, 20 videos and this is awesome but I don't want to lose it and I don't want to put it in like my iCloud storage or my you know Android whatever you got or whatever right so you just don't want to like store it in your personal stuff well now if you download the Google app for Drive you can actually each app has its own each feature has its own app is what I meant to say um, and you can actually download Google Drive and select which uh, email you want it to go to for the server. The email decides which company 15 gig drive section you're gonna to get to. So for example, I have company A, 15 gigs. I have company B, it has its own 15 gigs. Company C has its own 15 gigs. So each one has 15 gigs by itself. So let's say my audio production company is doing something, I got all kinds of cool photos, but also got some cool photos for um, my marketing company. So I can select a group of marketing photos, send it and upload it to my marketing section of my Google Drives. Um, then I can switch accounts and load up the other photos and videos for my audio production company up to the Google Drive that's connected to that account. So now I'm working with 30 gigs of hard drive space, virtual, all right, which is even better because now it travels with you anywhere and everywhere, right on your phone, your tablet, your computer, whatever, right? But you have that for the life of your account. More importantly, you can also upgrade it for next to nothing, okay? Just like you would if you were with any other company. Um, you get your own email. That's gonna be at, at google.com, but you get your own email. 
Um, you have your own calendar, which is really cool because you can actually sync and embed your calendar for your company onto any website, any website, all right? Kind of like what we do. Uh, we have a business calendar so that when you want to see what our business is up to and what kind of events we have coming up, you can just go to our website, click on event, and then on events, it's going to show you everything that's on our calendar from here until the end of time or whatever is on there, okay? Um, you get a Google Plus account, which is going to be cool because this is like an instant messaging for Google. You get Google Translate, be more important. If you travel, you download that on your phone. You can take a picture of something and Google will translate it back to you. I think that's kind of neat. Um, you have your Google Photos, which is once again, it's going to stellar and stash all of your photos and videos. Um, you have Google Shopping i.e. if you have a shopping company or a company that has like a brick and mortar, you should be able to search yourself on Google Shopping. So double check it. This is a really cool way to kind of back check your business, but at the same way, get a lot of features for free um, that a lot of people are paying for unbeknownst to them, all right? But no longer will you guys who are watching this channel. This podcast is going to be a podcast that will save you thousands over the life of your business just because of this. Did you know Google has a Google Finance section? I don't personally use it, but it's pretty cool um, because you can actually track your finances right here and do like little spreadsheets and stuff. Google also has Google Docs. So if you have a Mac or a Windows and you're buying these new computers and they're wanting you to buy these applications so that you can use Windows, um, you know, like Word and stuff like that, not no more. Did you know that Google integrates its applications to Mac as well as Word? It's compatible to everybody, but not everything's compatible. Some formats are, you know, not going to be there, certain things like that. But like 99%, 90% of the time, somewhere in there, it's compatible. I personally use it. I love it. But the reason I use it most is this. Have you ever been in the middle of typing something? You get a phone call, blah, 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 20 minutes later, you're like, oh, shh, I forgot to save that. And then you're like, oh, hold on real quick. You turn around and you're like, oh, no, my computer went in screen save mode or I accidentally forgot to plug up my laptop and it died. I just lost everything. We've all had those moments, right? The moment. Well, look, check this out. Google updates your document like every three seconds. So you literally have like live time. I've literally been in the middle of typing something, forgot that my battery was running low on my phone because I'll have my phone connected to like a little wireless like keyboard like this. And I'm just like, I'm thinking and it's like, bloop, and I'm like, oh, snap. And then I go, oh, never mind. I did that on Google. So I just plug it up, turn it back on, give it a second. Bloop, oh, there we go. Resync everything. Log back on and boom, I'm in there, right? This is really cool. And it does it for everything. It's constantly backing up. Like it's like a redundancy redundant system. It's just ridiculous. And you get it for free. I love that. I love that. I'll never pay for any other uh, services other than like Adobe, uh, you know, Abercrap or whatever for the PDFs. All right. But that's about it. Um, did you know that you can host your own blogging company for free from Google? Yeah, you can do that. Um, did you know that Google has its own books section? Yes, they do. Um, you obviously can have contacts that are synced up. Now, one thing to think of is this. If you have multiple accounts, let's say you've got all your business accounts over here and you have all your personal accounts over there. All right. If you use all of the personal account info and some of those people are also business, they're not going to identically be recognized by your business, which means you have to move contacts or copy them to both profiles, all right? So your business contacts that are also friends or associates, you also need to move them over to your business file or at least um, send an email or phone call so that you can save it inside Google's background office. Now, if you're doing this from your phone, your phone's obviously going to sync everything together. It doesn't see any difference. But if you're actually sitting at your computer and let's say you start trying to type an email to Joe Smuckatelli and you're like, Joe, we're, I, normally his email pops up. I don't know his email. Well, that's because you're in your business account and Joe's also a friend. So you're like, okay, I need to pull up my phone. While I'm in the email, I'm going to put his email in and I'm going to click on it and save him as a contact for my business. Google does not intermingle your contacts. 
for your business, which is cool because I like that feature personally. It's kind of a pain, but I like it because it keeps me from accidentally duplicating people um, and then moving some people over into the business category that I don't want to move over, right? Maybe I used to do business with Billy Joe, but me and Billy Joe kind of had a falling out. We're so cool, but we just got a falling out about business and I don't mess with them no more. I don't want him in my business contacts, right? Um, so even though he's in my personal. So Google is like, hey, you have never messaged or done business with him that I can see for this account. You need to create a new contact for this person. Don't do that on your phone because then you're going to have duplicates. Do it in your Google email um, and it'll automatically set up a new Google business contact. So that's pretty cool. You have Google Hangouts. Uh, I personally have not used this. I've got friends that love it. What really, really cool is, right, you know how you have instant messaging and chatting, chatting on web accounts, right, or websites. Did you know that you can embed your Google Hangouts and your Google Plus onto your web accounts, your websites and stuff? So now people can go on there, click, and then they can message you and be having a full live conversation. Don't pay for third party. They're giving it to you for free, all right? Um, keep, I've never used that, so I'm just gonna skip right, skip right over that. I'm not gonna give you you know, stuff that I don't know. All right, Google Business, my business, all right? I told you about my account. You can set that up, but now for your business, you can be very specific. Like, hey, this is all my personal account information that you need to know about me and that I want you to know. But here's my business stuff, and this is everything that you need to know, Google. Now, in here, you can also verify your information. Now, I know some of you guys are looking at me like, Jason, can you open it? Can you go into it? Unfortunately, I can't because there's personal information in those because I'm in a real account. But um, perhaps I'll do another video where I'll break it down as I set up a company's information. And what I'll do is as I'm doing it, I will actually black out parts of their information as I'm typing it in. Um, and I'll show you how to do it all from scratch. That's kind of coming down the road. Maybe, maybe not. Um, I'll have to test drive that. I don't think I can do that live. And that's my problem. So um, if I did it live, you guys are going to see all the information I'm putting in. And there is proprietary information that goes into these sections. So make sure that you're doing it or somebody that you trust is doing it because it needs to be as correct as possible in order for Google to assist you. All right. Um, you have their classroom. This is really cool because you can actually host trainings inside Google for free. Um, you got a jam board and you got collections, you got all kinds of stuff. And you're like, wow, Jason, I didn't realize I had all this stuff in there because I never scrolled through it. Dude, we're only scratching the surface. They have even more from Google. Now, if you click on even more from Google, um, what's going to happen is Google's going to kind of pause for a second, it's going to think, and then it's going to take off. Um, and the reason it pauses for a second and thinks is because it's actually digging through your profile to see what all you have and don't have. And then, this is really cool, right? Google Cloud Service is going to like, hey, you, you don't have a paid subscription to Google Cloud Service. If you want to pay for Google Cloud Service and increase it, we'll give this to you. This is the prices and the information. Here's some blogs and product reviews. More importantly, when you come down, did you know you can do Google Search, Translate, Chrome, Maps? Hold on. We're going to keep going. YouTube Music, Chromecast, Google Play and Movies, TV, Google YouTube, Plexo, Plexo, <laughs> Plex Hill State, um, you have uh, Connected Home, Plex, uh, Pixel, I'm saying Plex Hill, Pixel 3 and Pixel Slate, um, Google Wi-Fi, you've got Android Auto, Android OS, Wear OS uh, by Google, you have um, Chromebook, uh, that? Yep, Chromebook, you've got Google Duo, Google Allo, you got Google Gmail, you got Google Plus, you got Photos, Contacts, Calendars, Keep, oh my goodness, Slides, Drive, Docs, Sheets. <laughs> Did you guys get that? <laughs> All right, I'm going to back that one up real quick. All right, you got Google Documents, Slides, PDFs. You have Google Sheets, all right, which is your, uh, what's that stuff called? Um, your uh, Excel Sheets. Um, you have Google Drive to back everything up. And you get all that for free. You also will have a chance to set up your Google Ads, AdSense, analytics and my business this is the section right here this little whoop, that needs to be set up guys so let me um let me do this real quick because i know some people are looking at me like oh man he's talking so fast and there's so many different things going on with it in the world is he saying all right you need to have google ads you need to have google adsense you need to have a google analytics 
you need to have Google My Business. Um, all that needs to be set up, all right, period. If you're gonna do anything in 2018 on Plus, you need to have these four things set up, all right? I don't care, um, have them set up, all right? If you don't have them set up, you better get them set up because I'm telling you right now, you're slipping on your pimping. You're missing a lot of good stuff. Now, another thing you need to have set up, all right? You have to have a Google Drive set up. It's going to do it for you anyway, but you need to segregate it and at least use it for what you're doing on Google, if nothing else, and back up pertinent information because I'm telling you what, that Google Live 99.999% of downtime is awesome because when you have servers that break, computers that break, you can access this stuff 24-7. For slides, I love doing my presentations on Google Slides because I know, one, it backs up every three seconds. Two, I won't hardly ever lose anything unless I lose it. Three, all right, is this. I don't have to lug around my laptop and everything just to make sure that I have all my slides in my presentation. If I made it on Google, I could go over to someone else's office in California, LA, um, I could go to England, I could go wherever, and I can literally pull this thing up and go, oh, here it is, guys, and have the full presentation. That's amazing. Now, more importantly, you got Google Docs, Google Sheets. Um, this is really cool because you can make documents on the go. Um, you can do spreadsheets on the go, which are extremely easy. I actually like Google Sheets better than everything else that I've ever used when it comes to uh, making like schematics and stuff it's just so intuitive and so easy to use um then you come for all look at all this crap google gives you there's so much crap in here all right that you can literally get lost in the sauce now as if that wasn't good enough you're going to scroll down and it's going to have another section just for business and then you're going to scroll down and you're going to say hey are you a developer you like to build stuff here you go Look at all of this. All right, let me just say this. All right, there's one, two, three, four, five, six times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, roughly twenty columns of six. All right. <laughs> That's like 120 uh, freaking applications almost that Google gives you for free. If you are missing Google, man, you're missing out, okay? Can I just say that? So let me minimize the developer section. Let me minimize the for all section. And let's just look at Google Business, all right? Um, yeah, your search console. I mean, you've got so many cool things. Local inventory ads optimizing your page, Google Trends, Google Trends. Guys, like I got loud there for a reason. Google Trends, did you realize that you could go in there and find out what's trending on Google right now? And then when you build your ad concepts and marketing ideas that you can literally use that and boost your conversions and your attention gaining ads? Are you talking like, well, I can't seem to get in front of enough people and all oh, it costs so much money. Uh, well, how about using Google Trends? And at least if you're getting in front of people, you're getting in front of people that are trending for the topic that you're actually looking in and trying to market to. What about that one? What about a Google Suite, which is a direct business account from Google, an actual business account? What I just taught you how to do was a personal business account, but you can actually go into G Suite and make a G Suite business Google account. I don't usually go in it that way because it's going to start costing some money for certain features and you can do a lot of this for free, if not all. All right. Um, you can do digital workshops. Did you know that? Did you realize you could do a double click by Google? Hold on. What is a double click by Google? I'm not going to explain that. You better get in there and play with it. Figure it out, guys. My job is to give you this information and tie you into this information, help push you along and provide some information about that. All right, I'm providing you information. You've got to follow through with it, okay? Um, Google Cloud Platform, that's really cool, okay? You can really start breaking down your cloud-based service with Google right there, all right? Google Merchant Center, all right, if you have a merchant account. Google Shopping and Campaigns. Ooh, 
better be looking at some of these that I'm saying, okay? I'm giving you some, some bombs. Boom. All right. So with that being said, guys, I'm at like 27 minutes or something like that. Uh, I like to try to keep these in uh, 20 or less. It seems that we're trading between 20 and 30, though. So I'm going to start saying that I try to keep these below 30. All right. That's my goal. But guys, at the end of the day, my job is to make this kind of fun, interactive, I'll give you like some really good information, right? I don't go into trying to look all ultra professional with my tie in and button up. You know, sometimes you might catch me like that, but this is me. All right. Um, this is the type of company we run. We run a very personal intertwined business company. We want to know our customer. We want our customer to know us and we want to know our customers customers. So that way when we're working with you, we can really tie in all right, and become kind of like an adhesive unit to your bond. And it's just like when you move, we move, when we move, you move, and we're constantly moving to that customer base and just kind of crawling and getting you some great results. Um, so we'll be talking about results later on this month because we actually have our uh, member of the month on Facebook that actually is doing great stuff. She's like, kicking butt and taking names, <clears throat> but we're going to cover all that information in a little bit. I actually was going to reach and show you a quick uh, couple of photos of some of her stuff, but uh, it's put away off the printer here. Um, so looks like somebody's already put it away, which means I better look through my briefcase <laughs> but, um, before tomorrow comes. But hey guys, this is really cool. Get in here, play with Google. I've only scratched the surface a little bit. Perhaps, perhaps, I'll go into the background and give you guys a little more on Google at a later time. But the next class, I guess, podcast that I'm going to give you guys, it's going to be pretty cool. I hope you tune into it. This one kind of opened your eyes, probably blew some of your minds. Wait till the next one. That's all I can say. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in and watching. Peace, love, and happiness to my people on the live webcast. I'm going to sign you guys off and wish you a great day. Take care, guys. For everybody on the podcast, I want you to stand by. Don't go anywhere because, look, I've got something really cool.